welcome back to whomever is tuning in and for those who have now started to watch and is has now became a part of the journey i want to show you guys a little sneak peek here on where i'm standing you guys have no idea what the heck i'm doing <laughs> and what i've built here but here's a beautiful sneak peek behind me is a massive build that is taking me days um, I've been playing so much for the past three days ever since I uploaded episode two I've been grinding non-stop um, Obviously, I've been like farming and all types of crazy stuff So I'm gonna compact all of that into this episode Which is this episode three and uh, Before we continue any further I just want to let you guys know for those that have been commenting and liking my videos Thank you very very much it's very inspiring for me and it's i'm already motivated to make videos like as much as possible but it just pushes me the extra limit like for example i i like to play games a lot right so i'll play minecraft for about since i've had the time the past month and i will have now for the rest of my life um i i would normally pair, play around like four hours a day right uh, some days i wouldn't even play the game but now like without even forcing like naturally i literally play the game for about eight to ten hours and i'll take little breaks here and there like go on a walk uh, do some things like that in my personal life but if i time it from every time i'm on the game actually doing something in the game i am playing for eight to ten hours which is insane and i'm even pushing it a little more the more i'm building on this world I'm becoming fond to it and all the ideas the creativity they're just entering through my mind it's like it's it's crazy and i just want to share this with you guys because it's important reason is just for those that are coming along with me on this journey um i just want to say thank you and we're gonna have a lot of fun so what i'm showing you guys here is a giant farmland which i will be mentioning a couple times in the video and all that good stuff and as you guys can see, the diamond hoe is pretty much almost broken here. But we've been doing a lot of work. And when I mean a lot of work, you guys will definitely see how much I've changed the terraforming around this area. Just to build this building here for you guys and for myself, you know. It's, it's for all of us. Um, hopefully you guys will get some inspiration by the end of the video. So I still have probably like one more day, two more days uh, because I really want this area to look real nice So I just have to add in a lot of details and all those things like that All the minor stuff the finishing touches and the paths all that great stuff But yeah, just a little rambling intro here. It's not normal, but I just felt like Expressing what I had to say to you guys. So without further ado, let's continue and let's go ahead and hop into the episode all right you guys so i actually have an idea now something good that's going to be resourceful for the next episode and that's going to be an automatic sheep farm that we're going to be building over this mountain here which i cleared out a gigantic area um as far as the trees go so we have a clear view of what we're going to be doing i still have to terraform and all that good stuff of course but i want to show you guys all the saplings some spruce wood spruce wood spruce wood and then the spruce wood we already had a little bit of birch and some sticks but all that was gathered from all the grinding that we did over here chopping down all these trees i just wanted to show you guys how the view looks now which is really awesome because then i get a better idea of how i can build it out which is cool so a giant barn with an automatic sheep farm inside and then like some farmland outside in this general area here and also in the far future um well in this build i will have some paths but the paths won't be complete as far as them going all the way somewhere they'll probably just be leading to a certain extent to where we can't really see the path anymore but we'll make it look i'll make it look nice for you guys and Barn's going to be somewhere in that general area there. Probably terraform it, flatten out a little bit of the mountain, and place it right somewhere over here, just on the lower level. 
and then probably bring a path over here somewhere like this and then another path that leads to that mountain and that one so three pathways that cross through this farmland here which is going to be really really cool um, i'll probably push chop some of these trees out but i want to leave some because i have another idea on this side of the mountain but for right now let's focus on this so before we get to that um, I have been trading with the villagers, harvesting a lot of the sugar cane and using the paper to trade. Um, so I want to show you guys. We got some mending books. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight mending books and then one more fortune because the fortune ones are a bit more expensive. I'm going to throw mending on the armor, but before I do that, I'm going to go enchant some books. Because I want to see if I can get like protection 3 or something like that on the armor. Just so we can get some cool enchantments. So let's go down here. Woo! This never gets old. Alright, so if I take this off, let's take a look, let's see what we get. Unbreaking, unbreaking, and protection three. Protection and unbreaking. Beautiful, we got unbreaking for everything. Chest plate, we can add something here later. So knockback, that's for a sword. Let's just take a sharpness with us. Efficiency. Better falling. Okay, let's see what else we got. Knock back two again. Another sharpness. I don't need that right now. Protection three. Perfect. That's going to be for the chest plate. Let's go ahead and hit level 30 again. So that's for the chest plate. And then we'll throw mending on everything. I guess we could throw some feather falling onto the boots that we have here. Throw our mending books on. One, two, three, four. So let's do that first. Mending. Bam. Let's take off our armor. Mending. Throw on protection. And then mending. Beautiful. Mending. So everything has it except our boots. Which we'll do that. And then we can throw on Feather Falling. Grab our sword. Let's throw. Hold on. Can I. Let's see if I can combine these two to sharpness two. Perfect. And then we'll do that. Awesome. So now our sword does more damage. Which is exactly what I need. I am able to mine this all out with the pickaxe, but to be 100% honest, to speed up the process in future builds, what I need to do is make sure we get a beacon with haste in it. So my main goal right now, before I actually chop this whole mountain down, I will have to get weather, I think that's what they're called, weather skeletons, um, the black skeletons in the nether. I think they are called weather skeletons, but just let me go clarify. I've killed some already, and I collected one head earlier. So if we head back to the nether, that's what I'm going to be doing is going to the nether fortress, killing those, and harvesting the heads. But I know they're a super rare drop because I've killed about like 60 something, and I've only gotten one. But it's okay. I just now wanted to uh, actually get the wither not weather <laughs> wither skeleton school so i've gotten one so we're gonna go in there and go kill some more hopefully we can get two more and then we'll start fighting off the wither skeletons and then i, I forgot that thing spawns honestly i don't know what it's called but it spawns a boss the boss gives us a cool star star gives us 
Did I really just not die from that? Wow, these... <laughs> these boots just saved our life, because... I would have died. And I'm not even supposed to come down here. Look at me, always getting sidetracked and lose my train of thought. I'll apologize for myself, so you guys don't have to. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the nether. Let's go kill some withers. And... Yeah, we'll go from there. And we'll try to kill the uh, boss. Which I don't know his name yet, but... On our way. Alright. So we were in the nether killing some wither skeletons. We got another head. So we have two so far. But it's taking absolutely a long time. So to speed this up... I'm gonna throw looting... Onto the sword. Beautiful. So we ended up in doing some potions here. Uh, we got some strength potions. Now I need to go enchant the bow and see what type of stuff I get. So we have enchanted our bow. It took two bows to put together. And then we got this power four, punch two, flame, and unbreaking three. And then we'll probably throw mending on this later. But for right now, we have our sword and our pickaxe. I think we're going to go with all this. New shield. Let's throw this one out. And then let's collect some milk from the cows. Because I think this counter reacts the, the uh, wither effect that you get. It's kind of like poison. So, I got all these milks. Uh, let's put that over there. We'll keep that there. All right, let's go down into the strip mine that I have and we'll fight them in a strip mine far away so I wonder how this difficult the fight's gonna be All right, so I built this little room here Now let's go ahead and spawn them in So before we do that, I'm not gonna lie you guys. I am a bit nervous Whew. Okay, let's do that uh, arrow Let's put away our items first. So, boom, 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 boom. One, two, and then let's go ahead and get that in here. We have our milks, put that away. Hold on apples. All right. All right, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> All right, he's in. Oh, let's get up here. I'm gonna shoot him with a bow. Is it good yet? Oh, we gotta wait. Try to oh. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. We're good, we're good. Drink our milk. Throw on the other two. He's getting real close. Uh, are you serious? Let's see our golden apple. All right, boys, let's get him. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, did that... Man, the milk just took off the whole effect of the golden apple. this guy he heals back up as well dang it okay uh golden apple what does this do okay a little bit of health let's throw this out of here okay so this is our safety spot I 
feel like the shield doesn't really even help, honestly. I should bring one of the milks in. Dang, how long does this effect last? Oh, that's a long time. Let's try it again. Oh, what the heck? Is that thing just destroying all the mobs? It is. <laughs> oh. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Let's try this again. I have instant health splash potions as well, so I think we have a better chance at beating him now. I don't know how I'm supposed to kill this guy. Alright, let me inform you guys on what's going on real quick. Round one, to fight the wither boss, fail. Round two, to fight the wither boss, fail. So, I had to retreat and re-strategize what I was going to do. So, what I'm going to do now, and what I thought about, was if I get high ground on him, since he's inside the cave already, I can't really pinpoint him, so I'll have to have him come to me. So, what I thought was, let me just dig a hole in the wall, somewhere at the top where he can see me and push me. And, here's how that fight went. This is round three. Let's see if we can get it to come over here. Ooh. That was actually a really good shot. Am I hitting those? What? A little higher. There you go. We got him. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Okay, well, so what I'm going to do is right here, we'll dig a hole. And we'll fight him through here. This is going to be our safe zone here. And then let's dig down a little bit, just in case he breaks the area around it. It's easy for me to get in here. Oh, there he is. All right. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, my heart's beating so fast right now. Oh, wow. Woo. Damn, we took. Oh! <laughs> you know what? The enemies aren't even as bad as compared to what we just went through. Oh man. What is it? Absorption, resistance. Woo! This guy made one hell of a mess in here, didn't he? Well, cool thing is, so many diamonds are exposed. Get out of here. I'm not scared of you anymore. <laughs> After fighting that wither boss. 
I am not afraid. Wow, guys, that was the most difficult, one of the most challenging things I've ever done in a video game. I mean, at least it felt like it. it felt like I was gonna die like four times in that fight. Heck yeah, we just beat the boss. And I'm not gonna lie, that was very, a very difficult fight, but it was very fun. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and grind out this iron. It's amethyst. Absolutely beautiful. So we've gathered all of our iron, plus we got some cooking in the blast furnaces. And we're pretty much about done. I cleaned up the inventory in here just a little bit. So right now, let's just collect all this and uh, we'll build our beacon. Let's go ahead and craft that. Three, glass, and a star. Look at that. Oh, and it lights up. Cool. So I'll sit here, wait for all this to be cooked. And then we'll go build this by our building spot. And we'll use a uh, haste too. There you go. It's complete. Toss one of these in here. Haste two. That gives us haste two. Yes. Nice. All right. Climb back. Oh, man. The mining. It's like mining netherrack. Extremely beautiful. And easy. So worth it. That, I'm not gonna lie, that did take so much time, but it's so worth it. All the grinds are so worth it, especially once you have everything that you need. It's for, oh, 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 this water just saved this. <laughs> I gotta be more careful here. Especially wandering past these little ravines. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this mountain. So here's the path that I've kind of laid out a little bit with the cobblestone here. So this path will lead somewhere either in that direction or this general mountain here. And then that goes this way up into the barn area. And then this leads like this, wraps around there into the burst forest there. And then in the future, if I need to, or once I build out the, um, the farms here, I'll probably put one more path that goes into this way. As you guys see that dirt road there. I have a future build that's going to be gigantic over there and actually in between the mountain as well which is really exciting yeah but yep this is the layout for the path for right now just wanted to show you guys to get an idea of how i plan stuff out so i just lay out some blocks here and then i'll work around these blocks throw some farms here here uh maybe not on this end here because i want to probably might want to do something here probably just throw one there and then this one i'll throw one here and fill these up here all right so these are the cobblestone blocks that i placed earlier i've built the farm borders here and they are complete i probably will be adding some more decorations around here but for the meantime it's looking pretty good i'm going to add in the path now using some spruce leaves i can't turn around because that's where the windmill and barn is at i need i still need to go mining for more iron since that beacon ran me dry. And uh, we need to get some more lanterns and then also some more, uh, what is it? What else did I need? Oh yeah, stuff for the redstone and things like that. I think just a little bit, but we'll be okay. So right now, I'm gonna be throwing in spruce leaves through the walk path, path here. Some podzol, I think that's what it's called. And then just some good old I forgot what is what, what is this called why does it sound right a little path i'm not sure what it's called but i'm gonna add in the path with this here so let's get to it some friends here some goats i've actually never seen them that's so cool this game just never never fails to amaze me we're grabbing some ice here for the transportation system that I'll be building in the barn. <laughs> I gotta find out how to tame them. I don't know how to tame them yet. All right. So right now we're currently transferring our sheep little by little into their cells, which they will be living in. And I'll be able to collect some wool. So behind me is the barn. It looks really, really cool, but 
I have to show you guys at the end. It's kind of like a giant surprise and it kind of builds a little hype, you know? <laughs> We're just about done with the episode here. One final touch. I'm just going to be adding in a custom tree. I'm going to try it out, see how it comes out. It's going to be a spruce tree. I think it'll just sit right next to the build and look really well with it. So I'm going to go ahead and build it out and then I'll show you guys the finale. All right, so here's kind of like the shape that I kind of went with. But we'll see how it looks when I, when I add all the leaves in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll show you guys the build. I'm excited to show you guys. Everybody, I am happy to present to you guys my gigantic project that took me about six days. As soon as I posted episode two, I immediately started working on this project here. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. My wrist and fingers are aching because of how much hours I've put into the game. But I'm not complaining. I'm just happy. As you guys can see, you guys already got a sneak peek, but there you go. You've seen it during nighttime. Now it's time to show you guys during the daytime after I kill the zombie. Alright. So here it is, folks. The barn with a sawmill and some beautiful farmland here with plenty to see also built in some custom terrain block by block a custom tree block by block which i'll add some more but they do take some time here but it's absolutely worth it now i hope you guys enjoy this as much as i have um sorry that i didn't post a video sooner but this definitely took me so much time but i worked on this every single day until today which is 5 8 23 and I'll be uploading the video immediately after this, giving you guys a nice little compact video. We did a lot, and um, the struggles here were just the resources and not having the elytra and having to come back and forth to play some blocks and then running out of things over there to come back over here, etc. All the, all the Minecraft stuff that comes with the game, which is awesome. But all right, folks, let's take a walk down there. I am going to stay quiet now and just take a walk through and show you guys everything and hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk once I'm inside the barn. Alright everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the scenery, the barn, and the sawmill with the terrain and the little tree that I built there, looking real nice. Here's the automatic sheep farm that I can AFK on when I'm doing something, when I'm running errands or whatever I'm doing, just leave my PC running and we'll collect some wool. I do have to go collect all of the dyes, so I need some, I need some time to do the exploring part of Minecraft. And uh, 
here it is beautiful little roof let me show you guys the back of the tower as well that thing just came out super cool all right let's take a little walk outside so here it is everybody the beautiful farmland i am extremely happy with this build <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I have. Um, without further ado, everybody, just want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for the subscribers and the comments. It really means a lot. And uh, I'm going to really be pumping out a lot of builds like this. So try to give me some time on posting the videos. If I am doing something smaller, then I'll be posting more frequently. But when I'm doing gigantic projects like this, it will take me a little more time. Now, with having low amount of iron and not having the elytra and uh shulker boxes this build definitely took a lot longer and probably the next couple ones will until we get the elytra once i get to the elytra with our uh creeper farm we'll definitely be able to pump more videos out i'll be able to pump more videos out for you guys so for the meantime just bear with me as i take my time and make these beautiful builds and yeah, this, there was a, a lot going on in this episode. We started off uh, going to the nether, destroying the uh, withers, collected the heads, destroyed the wither boss, made a beacon, used 95% of our iron for the beacon pyramid, which was extremely worth it to chop down that mountain. Uh, we enchanted some... A hoe and another pickaxe that has silk touch on it did a lot so i want to show you guys a before and after video if you want to stay a little longer go ahead and just watch the final couple minutes i don't think it'll be a couple minutes it'll probably be like 30 seconds but i'm going to show you guys how this was a gigantic forest here and how i chopped it all down and how it became this so just like a before and after picture kind of of what used to be here and what it looks like now from a bird eyes view so i'm going to go up there with the scaffolding and then i'll load into i'll just copy and paste the seed load into another wor world and then come to this coordinates here and show you guys so you guys can see how it looks like now here is the same exact area our starter house was right there in that corner there our house on wheels is there uh i was standing there just a moment ago and this is the whole area that i cleared out all of this here and our barn is like right there in that area and then that terraforming cliff that i put with the waterfall is like right there but yeah you guys just wanted to show you I think it's very important to see the before and after terraforming and just how much work we're going to put in so all right guys thank you see you guys in the next one